Our latest Dawn News Hotline documentary, Death Row, which focuses on prisoners on death sentence, will air tonight. Seth Kwame Boating put this piece together, and he's here. Uh, he'll be here shortly in the studio. So I'm moving to the special block where we have a number of uh, inmates who are on death row. They don't know when they will be killed. Their anxiety levels are just too much. I understand some have exhibited so, so much remorse and they wish they could go home. I am being accompanied by the Eastern Region Prisons Commander, Deputy Director of Prisons, Isaac Ejiri. He knocks on the fortified Ayong Gate securing the condemned block and it is opened. Life virtually ends here. Dreams are shattered immediately you are marched to this block. The scary sounds of death is all you hear ringing in your ears every second. Sadly, a greater percentage of these condemned prisoners are very young. Some are below 30 years. <laughs> 23-year-old Abdul Halik Hamza is one of the prisoners. He can be killed through hanging anytime. I find him in a small makeshift mosque made for them in the condemned block. This is where Halik consoles himself any time it dawns on him that he killed and he must also be killed. The Quran is his companion. Sadly, his journey into the condemned block started right after reading his Quran and offering his Maghrib prayers on 13 July 2013 in Tamale, the northern regional capital. It was in a fasting season when we about to break our fasting. So I left with my friends to the Nyohani roundabout to get, to get some food and break our fasting. When we got there, we met some other group there. So we, we sit with them and we sat with them and we were conversing. So after that, I was left with, with one of my friends to take some key password with him that he was changed in my, this thing, in my computer. So I was there with the friend when I, when I heard noise. The people were shouting there. Actually, when I came back, when I came back, I asked what happened, what, what is going on here? And they said, some guys came and said, they are going to beat them. That is what I heard. So I was telling them to stop. They were shouting and they were all, all taking things. They were, they, they were, yeah, they were just fighting, so I was telling them to stop. Through, the, through stop, stopping them, I take, I, I take some stick, some wood, to see what I can do that to separate them so that everybody will move there. But being in this thing, through this separation, I hit one with the stick and he fell down. It was not a normal fall. His victim, Abdul Kanu, did not die immediately. He was quickly rushed to the Tamale Teaching Hospital, and Halek was immediately whisked away to the police station by a police patrol team who chanced on the incident. Abdul, unfortunately, did not survive. He died the next day. That morning, one also came to me. One of my friends came to me and said, the person is OK. Now he's even talking. Literally getting to around 10 or 9, when another person also came and told me that the person is normal. And that time, <laughs> that time, I've never met that thing before, and I've never think of it. So that time, I'm made confused, because how can a human being lose his life through in your hands? So that time, I was even confused. I was in the cells, and they told me to eat, and I said, no, I can't eat. This is what is going on. And what is going on, that thing, I've never seen some before, so I can't live with it. 
and they told me I should be patient. This is this one, it is not my fault, but God knows why. That is why they that's what my friends in the cell told me. Really captivating, isn't it? That's just an excerpt. Do expect the full documentary. Now I've got the one behind it, producer of that documentary, Seth Kwame Pwating. How are you? Oh, it's good. Minutes. It's good to see you. And I, I was just saying that after watching Next to Die, I, I wondered what else could Seth be, be working on? What <laughs> what else is there to do apart from this? And, and here you come with Death Row. Tell me how this came to you. Obviously, you've done some work with regards to mm. the prisons, but what inspired this documentary? I think um, I realized that nobody had told their story. It's a place, it's difficult to enter. It's a secluded place where they don't even get a chance to mingle with the rest of the prison population. They are in their own block called Special Block, but we have named mm. that place Condemned Block. Okay. They don't have that liberty that others in the prison have and enjoy. So I said, why don't we also tell their story? Why don't we go in there and hear from them and also look at their conditions? Yes, well, the law says they have killed and they must also be killed. But here is the case since 1993, no precedent. The last time an execution was done was by Rollins in 1993. Since then, no president is willing to sign for them to be killed. So let's go there, look at their, their block. And I realized that the place was meant for about 20, 23 maximum. And now they are over 150. Because nobody is signing for them to be killed and they are adding it's on to the numbers up. every day. It's highly congested. And I also wanted to see the gallows where uh, they used to be executed. Mm. Um, you, may, you may not be able to stand it uh, mm. when we show, but it's the reality. And again, I want us to also let the youth appreciate the thin line between life mm. and freedom. Mm. You see, if this guy, for example, had little patience, had waited, mm -hmm. had said, I will let go, mm. I, would, I, I wouldn't even mind them fighting. Mm. I met another lady, she claimed uh, she was fighting with a friend. The friend stabbed her, she took the knife and stabbed her friend too. The friend died. She's been sen sentenced to death. So, for example, if this girl had been patient, she wouldn't have been there. Mm -hmm. So, aside playing up the issues of human rights, congestion, mm. it's also an advice. And I dedicate this documentary to the youth of this country. Those who think they can do anything they want, they, they think they are not afraid of mm. anything, mm. You it's should real. watch this, yes. And if you're watching this and you have young children or you're a youth leader or anything, just get everyone to watch this at 6.30 p.m. Uh, this evening. And at 8.30 p.m. there'll repeat. be a repeat of so, that. So what are we expecting? Are we only hearing the stories or narratives of these people who've been no, uh, no, sentenced no, no, no. to death? I have interviewed, you know, Amnesty International has been pushing for the death penalty to be repealed. repealed. And I've spoken to Amnesty International, I have the interior minister in, um, I asked him if Nanado will ever sign for them to be executed. So um, <laughs> our viewers should stay and listen to his response. I've also had families of those who have been incarcerated, who have been sentenced to mm. death. We're also going to hear them. Then I take you to the gallows to see the conditions, that, to see how they used to be executed. Mm. Everything is intact, meaning the day the president will change his mind, they can be executed even today. And how, how was it by firing squad? No, by, by hanging. hanging. So you see the ropes there tied to your legs, uh, wow. then a heavy weight, like thrice the weight of cement tied to your legs. Then the, you are made to stand on the plank. As soon as the plank it's is cold. moved, oh. you go and you die one time. Whew. All right, so <laughs> now, um, with, with your other prison documentaries, we've seen people who were on remand. They, they're just waiting. They, mm. they, they, they don't know their fate. Is that the case here? Or all these people have been sentenced? All those that, those in the condemned block are, are, have been pronounced by the courts to be guilty, to of, be a, guilty okay. of murder. So they are to be hanged, executed. So all of them can be killed today should the president decide that they should go. But the president, no president, and I've, I, I have President Kofor in this documentary. 
explaining to us why he never signed for any prisoner on death row to be executed. Mm. Uh, and one sad thing about their condition is that they don't want to complain. They can't complain. You know why? Because they don't want the president to remember that they are there. Mm -hmm. so, so they'd rather stay in the condition exactly. and be silent. No matter what they are going through, they want to be silent. They don't want to complain. So they have congestion issues, mm. health issues. They want to be there. They don't want anyone to think about them. Mm. So society would forget totally about them. Mm. Kwame, quickly, do you, do you sense any... A uh, ray of hope for these people. I mean, you you've, uh, you've spoken to stakeholders. Do it's, it's, it's do difficult. you see it? It's it's difficult. We may want to trigger that debate mm. on whether we need the death penalty because the Constitution Review Commission recommended that, that it is repealed. Mm. So we may want to ignite that mm. debate and see because not all of them are criminals. Some are there because they they were not tolerant, you understand? Not that they are hardcore criminals. Mm, I, I, in I fact, and mean. indeed, there are criminals in there. Okay. And those I'm, who, like, arm oh, robbers Yes, I was telling a friend earlier that those inside there, they know all those arm robbers out there, the criminals among them, mm. the criminals on death row. They know the arm robbers out there. That's it. And you also hear the, the story of one man who was there as a condemned prisoner, but is now out after 19 years. How did he get out? Amnesty by President Kofo. And, and when mm. he narrates how the executioners used to come in every Friday night and pick them. Kwame, this is a must watch. Thank you very much for working <laughs> on this you. documentary. Don't forget Death Row airs at 6.30 p.m. this evening. And uh, there's a repeat at 8.30. You don't want to miss this for anything. If you miss it, please go onto our YouTube channel and watch it.